From city streets to regional trails, it's hard to ignore the rise of e-bikes. Colorado is proud to lead the nation in investments to make e-bikes more accessible for people and businesses who want healthy, climate-friendly transportation. Bicycle Colorado worked with state and local agencies to help develop programs like the Denver Climate Action Office program that will distribute 4,500 bikes this year and the Colorado Energy Office program upcoming that will distribute $12 million in e-bike rebates. Let's learn how some of those investments are making a difference for Coloradans. My name is Frida Mitchell. I live in Denver, Colorado, and I, uh, my e-bike, I love my e-bike. Uh, my name is Chris. I live in southwest Denver, and I uh, ride an e-cargo bike. Last year, my commute went from six miles to 20 miles, and this really makes it easy to ride in and commute every day. My name is Jamie. I'm the program director at Denver Food Rescue, and today I'm riding our Yuba Super Cargo electric bike, which we use for moving food around the Denver metro area. Yo soy Julie González y es un honor y placer ser dueña de esta um, bicicleta uh, electrónica uh, que se llama Cereza. My name is Darnell Robinson. I work at Sprouts Farmers Market Retail. I work in the dairy department and this is my e-bike. Gets me where I need to go every, every day I need it. My name's Alex. I ride a Turn HSD e-cargo bike. Uh, my name is Strother Gaines. My pronouns are he, him. I ride a REI co-op uh, e-bike. My name is Matt. Uh, my daughter and I are able to ride to school every morning and I pick her up every day. My name's Rachel and I ride a Class 3 V-Volt that I affectionately have named the Martian Lander. So we like to go school downtown, pick my son up, and then we go back home. But we also like to take the bike. We start exploring different playgrounds in the neighborhoods. Uh, he loves to go to Target. We go to the grocery store and small errands, friends' houses, things like that. I use the e-bike every day. The only days I wouldn't use it if the weather is really bad. I like to ride to work, from work, really just making small errands as I make my way through the day. I had to carry everything on my back. And so having the space for cargo with groceries or at the hardware store, that makes a big difference. I have a four-week-old daughter who I'm excited to, for her to get on this. And I actually had my parents out in town and my mother, my 70-year-old mother, rode this from Denver to Morrison and back. And she wouldn't have been able to ride, ride with us without, without the assist. And so it was, that, that made such a difference in our day. Our volunteers move food mainly using bicycles with attached trailers. Every weekend our volunteers ride hundreds of miles with these bikes. It feels so much easier to move food using this electric bike than it does on a non-electric bike. Even the hill on this little bridge across the Platte can be challenging if you have a lot of food in the back of your bike. I work two and a half miles from my home. I live on the north side of Denver. I work at the state capitol. I'm a state senator. And to be able to actually uh, ride my e-bike and it's actually faster to get there on my e-bike than it is for me to drive in. Some of the places that I ride to are the Auraria campus every morning, um, to the grocery store, and then just cruising around. Um, honestly, I just ride. In the five weeks I've been riding, I've put 800 miles on it. Uh, yeah, so my bike is a family e-bike. Uh, my daughter is two years old. She and I ride everywhere, every chance we get. Um, she adores sitting on the back of it, and uh, it's, it's great for transportation. It makes life a lot easier. My hope right now is to commute at least two out of four days a week to school. I ride it to go to work, run errands, and just to get around my town. I love it. Riding the e-bike made me feel good. It's very relaxing. I'm not a whole body of sweat when I'm riding every other day. It pick, picks up most of my pace so I don't have to put out so much energy. It's really good. When I ride the e-bike, it, make, it lets, makes me feel free. I love riding one with nature and you just you just think positive vibes and you just go all over the place and you see stuff that you wouldn't see when you're in the car. I feel great when I'm out riding my bike. Uh, this morning the sun was shining through the trees, I was running along Bear Creek, it felt like fall was coming in. We won this grant a year ago and when we first got these bikes, I think it was October 2021, we felt like some of the only people out there with e-bikes. And this past few months, with the rebates and everything, there's just been such an explosion 
always make eye contact with other e-bike riders. Like, yeah, we're doing this. <laughs> we're having a great time out here. Fun is not what I associate with my commute. And now like going through Wash Park, going through City Park, being able to kind of check out different spaces of Denver on my way to school and on my way back has been really exciting. To be really honest, when I ride my e-bike, my brain turns off. I feel free. I'm able to focus and it's just so good for my mental health and for my body. Traditionally, six months ago, I would have driven to, you know, and to be able instead to ride my e-bike, it's pretty fun. I'm like willing to go out a lot more and just driving is awful here now. Um, and it's a lot more fun for me to commute around the city. I'm able to go more places and it's, it's enjoyable. Um, my daughter wants to not, she wants to get on this seat instead of her car seat. It is actually easier for me to ride an e-bike around my community than drive. And so I literally have been replacing car trips with e-bike trips. Um, because of my e-bike, I feel like I can ride anywhere, get there without feeling sweaty, my knees don't hurt. Um, and I can do things like go to Costco with my e-bike. Stay safe, wear your helmet, learn your turn signals with your hands, keep your lights on in the early mornings and the late at nights. We still follow some traffic laws, so look up on that and you'll have a good time. Ah, the weight loss. I lost 20 pounds, so I love the e-bike. Get on the bike, you will lose 20 pounds because I did it, I did it and I, you'll love it, you'll love it. Actually having this e-bike gives me a lot of freedom um, and, and mobility in ways that I hadn't really anticipated. If I can ride my bike, it changes my whole mood and outlook for the day. It's the best investment I've ever made in my life. You'll find that you just get to ride more and uh, you'll enjoy riding more and, uh, and people will look at you and wish they were riding an e-bike too. <laughs> We got a $900 rebate, um, and that was just enough to make me pull the trigger. I've been on the fence for a while, but the idea of getting the discount was a huge incentive for me, and I've been so happy we did because it's replaced our daily commute in both directions, most days a week, and we love it. Yes, it saved me so much money. We're talking thousands of dollars. If I didn't have e-bike, I'd most likely be paying upwards of $20 to $30 on Uber or Lyft, uh, RTD, just to get from one place to another. I would not have bought this bike without the, without the rebate in Denver. Um, that, that $900 made, made it from, well, may, maybe I could do this down the road to, yeah, I could do this today. And the program, if they, when they go ahead and do another part of the program, let's make history. Let us continue to have other states follow us. I am so proud of the fact that Denver and Colorado are leading in terms of our investments in bike infrastructure and that's that climate resilience across our city and our state. These are just a few of the stories about how e-bikes can change how Coloradans get around. Using e-bikes for everyday trips reduces the number of cars on the road and reduces our greenhouse gas emission. Bicycle Colorado is encouraging partnerships between community advocates and local governments to help make e-bikes more accessible. Let's work together to get more people on e-bikes.